GE 103 AutoCAD 3D Modeling Cabin Project Part 2. When we last left off, we had our floor and we had our bottom plates completed. So now what we want to do is continue this and we want to make our, our walls. And we're, um, we're going to use uh, two by sixes here. So I'm going to go up to my layers, pick two by six. Okay. And I'm looking at, uh, I'm going to get into, I'm going to go to my home. And one of the things you can do, so this will always come back to where you want it, is once you hit the home button and you, um, let's see if we can get it, zoom extends there, Z, E, space, Z, space bar, E, space bar, zoom extends. Go in here, oops, my bad, Z, E, there we go, right click on the house and set current view as home. There we go. And then when we zoom out and we hit home, it should come right back in. Awesome. So it doesn't matter where we go. If we hit home, it'll come right back in. So again, that is once you get it centered on your screen, right click. Come on. Right click and go set current view as home. Now I'm going to go back up to my, we are in our 2 base 6s I'm going to go back up to my box here. I'm just going to pick a point outside the screen rather than pick on the screen. It's just a little easier for me. Okay, and I'm going to go length. And it's in ortho, which is really nice. And so I'm going to go 5.5, .5, enter 1.5, enter 96. That's my 8 foot 2 by 4. And I'm going to go move from that corner there to that corner there. And might as well teach you about a California corner. Okay, there's a thing in construction called a California corner, and I'll show you how we do that. So, um, a California corner is a way that we do our uh, wall studs so that we don't have voids of insulation and we have a place to um, fasten our interior sheathing. So like your sheetrock or paneling, whatever, they got something to nail into as opposed to a just a L corner. So that's what we're going to do here real quick. And it's really easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to rotate this. And I'm just going to do my standard rotate. Pick this right there. And I'm going to go 90 and see what happens. And it goes the right way. Yay! Okay. And then I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put this corner right there. There you go. There is a California corner. That's what it should look like. And uh, depending on which side you're working from, then we we move out from here. So. It'll be 16 inches on center this way and 16 inches on center this way. So again, we're going to use our array. <clears throat> and I want to use the classic array. Because I find it's a little bit easier. Okay. And I'm going to first go into home. And so I know which way I'm going here. Okay. And if I hit my arrow key up and down, I go right back to classic array. And columns should be going this way. So let's hopefully this will work out. So I'm going to go to one for my rows. And columns, I'm going to go to about 11. And I'm just doing, I'm picking any random number. I just want to send them out this way. Rows again, offset. And then rows here will be 16 inches on center. Select my object. I'm going to come and select this object here. Hit enter. Preview. Ooh, nice job, Doug. That was great. Okay. Hit enter. And they should be set. Now I'm going to go arrow key again, right back to a classic array, and I'm going to trade. I'm going to go 11 this way on my rows, one on my columns, 
16 inches on my rows and one on my columns. And notice it's saying that it's going to go up. Well, that's that way, and I don't want it. So I'm going to put a negative in front of the 1.4. Okay. And then I'm going to go select an object, enter, and I'm going to go preview. Oh, man, am I good or what? And look at that. It comes right on the corner. That is just perfect. Okay. So, um, looks like we want to build a California corner down here also. So, how are we going to, the easiest way to do that would be just to steal, steal this, oops, help, help, I undid my array, bummer. So, I'll go array again, it should be set up though, I hope. Looks like I'm going to have to change this to 16, change this to 1, okay, change this to um, 11, change this to 1, and change this to a negative. Select my object, pick this, enter, and I am going to preview it, okay, and then I want to hit Enter again. Otherwise, it's sort of in limbo because it was in the preview mode. Okay. So I'm going to take this right there and I'm going to copy it. I'll pick that corner right there. I'm going to place it right there. Notice how it overlaps our uh, bottom plates too, which is really nice. Around the other side. I can just, and I'm going to turn one more time. I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to reach through. And again, here's, I was able to reach through there, but sometimes it's really easier to get the wireframe here. And copy, reach through, and then place that right there. Okay. And actually, uh, this needs to go move right to there. There's our California corner for that end because of the way our um, things are, our uh, studs go. This corner looks different than this corner. Okay. And let's take a safety look here. Okay. Excellent. Now, this one is not right, is it? We need to fix this one here. What do I need to do to fix this here? Move this out of the way. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to double stud this one here. So copy. Bring that to there. There we go. And I'm going to rotate this one. Place that right there. That still isn't right because this one we have to do. Boy, I haven't done this for a while. Here we go. Okay. So I'm just copying and moving, copying and moving. Okay, and there we go. There's our California corner on that end. Much better. Much better. Okay, so um, if I wanted to, I could array these again. But I'm just going to pick mine right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Copy, and I'm going to pick this corner. Right here and go put it on this corner right there. Okay. I had to mentally think about that for a nanosecond. Okay. 
And then I should be able to go across all these and this one. But this one I can't copy because it would be going the wrong way. But what can I do? Well, what can I do? What can I do? Our friend Mirror. Down here, modify. Drop down. There's the Mirror command right there. Pick a midpoint. And then swing around there. And there it is. They should be right where they need to be. Oh, perfect. It looks like I'm missing a sheet of plywood down here. So I'm going to go find that little sheet of plywood. Copy that and go from there to there. Okay. How are we doing for time? We got 10 minutes. Okay, we got our studs. Awesome. So now we've got all our studs. We've got our um, bottom plates. I'm going to steal my bottom plates. I'm going to go steal my bottom plates here. Copy, pick the corner, place it up here. Excellent. And here's something that we do a little bit different. Now we need um, top plates. We have two. One stacked on the other. So here we go. I'm going to copy this. Move it out of the way here a little bit. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to move it from this corner here and I'm going to overlap it right there. See how the overlap is? And that's what locks these two walls together. Okay. I'm going to swing around here. Go to my... Now, here's a good chance to do this, and I haven't showed you how to do this. How about we go to uh, right-click, and we scroll all the way down here to Customize. Okay? And we're going to get a toolbar in here. And you want to go to the Customize in All Files. We'll open that up. Okay? And there is Doug's toolbar right there. Okay? And I'm going to type in here, and I'm going to go Move... And uh, it's not going to do it, so how about face? Let's see if we can find move face. Ah, uh, there's extrude face. And there is move face. I'm going to go move face, and I'm going to just drag it right up into Doug's toolbar. and Park it right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go apply. And go OK. And, oops, my toolbar's moved a little bit here, but we'll move them back here. So, put our UCS toolbar, uh, US2, US2 toolbar there, and there is Doug's toolbar. Okay. Oh, come on, you guys. And now I can just click on there and go to my move face and pick that. I don't have to go up there and find it. I really like having customized toolbars. I use them all the time. Okay, I am going to now um, that overlap that one. So I'm going to copy this one right here, pull it out, and I'm going to move it. And I'm going to pick this corner here and put it right there. Okay, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to go to my move face again. Pick this face right there and come in here and put it on that corner right there. Okay. Then I can copy this, and I'm going to take the far corner, because I want to put it on the near corner. I'm going to take copy this and take the far corner. And oops, I grabbed it on the wrong corner, didn't I? So I'll just move it here. Oops. Move. There we go. I think I just copied it over. There we go. Come on now. There we go. Okay, so now we're looking pretty darn good. We have our, our flooring, our bottom plate, our studs, and our top plates. So um, let's go down and build some joists. So let's go up here. Oh, what do we need to do here? What does this say? That says bottom plate, doesn't it? Okay. What do they need to be? So I'm going to grab them, all of these. Okay. 
and I'm going to change those to top plate. Okay. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to look at it at my bottom and see where things are at. I'm in world and I want to go, I want to do something to the right, it looks like. Okay, so I'll go to home and I want to go to the front here. Always want to be go back to uh, world before you start figuring out where you're going. So I want to go to front and work on that. Okay. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change this to front. Go over to my and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change to Joyce floor Joyce. I'm going to go up here to box and I'm going to look at it the way it's drawn. You can see. So I'm going to go L for length. Okay, and it's in ortho. Make sure it's in ortho. And um, I'm going to do a floor joist. And my floor joist, I'm going to do as a six-inch floor joist. So I'm going to go uh, five point five, enter, one point five, enter, and then I'm just going to stretch it down here a ways. I don't care how far it goes because I'm going to I'm going to just stretch it to fit. And I'm going to go move, and I'm going to go. Pick the end point and put it right under there. I can go right up here to my move face. And I can pick any corner and just come in here and touch another piece of geometry and it'll jump right to it. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to copy this one. Copy. And I'm going to take the inside corner and put it to the outside corner down there. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to world, and I want to draw this way, so that's left, so I'm going to put, pick left, go to my box here, and you can see that I'm already, everything's working for me, I'm going to go length, 5.5, .5, enter, 1.5, enter, and just stretch a length, okay, move this, I'm here to there. I'm here and stretch it from there to there. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to world and I'm going to go underneath. And what I need to do now is I need to array these along the bottom here so that I can have my floor joists. Okay. And um what I'm going to go, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to type array, get my classic array, and I sort of need to know which way I'm going to be going. So I'm going to close that and go to home, okay, and then hit my arrow key until I go back to classic array, and it looks like I'm going to go this way. Um, this top looks like rows. I think I want to go with rows again. I want to go 16 on center. I'm going to select my object here and preview. And we went the wrong way, so I'm just going to hit escape go right back to preview here and take away my negative and go preview. And I know it did that. And then I'm going to hit enter. And if I go underneath. Hey, I'm good. And you can see that on the end, we need a double joist, even though we never want to go more than 16, so you just add another joist. So I'm going to go copy, and I'm going to pick that corner there and put that right there. So now we have our joist underneath our floor. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So... We can go up here to floor up to our layers and we can go to our plywood and let's freeze that. See what happens. Oh, look at that. We can look through and see our floor joists. Okay. We could go and get rid of our stud, our two by sixes. Turn those off. Ah, now we're starting to see how things go together. You can see how powerful the layers are and being able to freeze things. 
Okay, I think I'm going to call that good for right now. It's another 20-minute little video, and we're good to go.